Hello, La Pluma students, and thank you for tuning in to a new art lesson. This week, we are going to be talking about an artist named Jasper Johns. He is an American artist who was born in 1930 in America, and he is still alive. He is 90 years old, and he's still alive, at least at the making of this video. And he was part of the pop art movement, which was similar to, well, another artist was Andy Warhol, who did the tomato soup cans, and we studied him last year. Um, in pop art, they kind of elevated the everyday object to art. And so here is an example of something that Jasper Johns did. I don't know if you can tell what he did here, but he took the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and he superimposed them, or he put them on top of each other. So he stacked them up, and what you get is a really abstract and cool design, and I think it's really beautiful. Take a moment and look at a couple of these Jasper John Jasper John's examples. All right, so here we go. You are going to need, I'm gonna use a black Sharpie, but a pencil will do just fine or any marker. And I'm going to use colored pencils. You can also use crayons or markers. We are going to start with the numbers zero through nine. And if you're in TK, you might want to ask your, someone in your house to help you write the numbers really big and right on top of each other. And if you're in one of the older grades, um, you may want to do block numbers um, how Jasper John did his black numbers. So like the number four here, you can see that it's a block number four. So if you want to try to get fancy, that would be cool to do block numbers. But um, for the demonstration, I'm just going to use simple lines for numbers. We're going to start with zero and we're going to make it as big as we can to fill the page. So zero, and it doesn't have to be perfect and um, it's totally okay like how I kind of did an extra little bit there it's not a problem you kind of want to just like confidently write each number and not think too much about each number because if you go too slow it's going to be a little more shaky so I just kind of try to boom like write the number as quickly as I can without being messy so there's the zero, next number is one. So that's just gonna be a straight line, one. Already a pretty cool shape. Now I'm gonna do a two. And there's the number two. If you do your two with a loop right here, that's fine. Um, how did Jasper Johns do his? I think his is just the way I did. But if you want to do a loop there, that's totally fine. Any differences that you use in your numbers are totally okay. And after two comes three. And then four. Five. And that five started a little bit lower than the other numbers, and that's fine with me. I don't need them all to be the exact same height. Uh, six, seven, eight, and the last number is nine. And I kind of went wide there. Okay, so that is my numbers zero through nine superimposed on each other or stacked up on top of each other. And these two look a little bit different, but they also look similar, and that's fine. If, if yours looks very different than this, that's totally okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your colored pencils, 
and just find little shapes that were created um, between the numbers and just color those in. And this part, just I would say just take your time and just enjoy it. It's so, I think it's so interesting to see the shapes that you created without even thinking about what you were doing. It just, they were created by the overlapping of the numbers. So I'm just gonna kinda like go through my design and just kinda pick random shapes spaced out that I want to color red. You can start with any color you want. Um, if you want to, you can do a color scheme. So a color scheme would be where you choose specific colors to use over and over again. Like maybe you like greens and yellows, so you just want to use greens and yellows. Or maybe you like warm colors, which would be orange, red, and yellow. Or cool colors, which would be like purples, blues, and greens, like the ocean. So if you want to do a color scheme, you can. I did the full rainbow of colors over here. Um, so it might be fun to do, maybe just do warm colors with this one. So warm colors would be the colors that you see in fire, which would be red, yellow, and orange. So I'm gonna start with that and then I'm gonna see how I feel um, as it's coming, see if I like it. If I'm thinking that I wanna add a wider variety of colors, that's fine, I'm the artist, so I can even change my mind mid-art project. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and this is just really relaxing. This is something you can just take your time. There's no rush. And it's good just to relax and enjoy the process. Okay, I'm gonna go for some yellow. It might be cool to do black and white, so you would just color in half of the spaces black, but leave the other half white. That's probably more like how he did this one. He didn't color in with black, but he, um, he didn't use color on this one. He just used his ink. Lots of interesting shapes, lots of triangles, lots of curved lines with straight lines. So not none of them are like perfect squares or rectangles, but I think that makes it even more interesting. All right, class, here is my final project. I decided to use the warm colors, yellow, red, and orange, but then I also added in some black and brown, and I kept a few of the spaces white because I just liked the way it looked. So here was the sample one, and here's the final one, and I love how different they are from each other with their color scheme. And um, I was thinking it could be really fun to, um, to write the numbers in your phone number and see what kind of a design that makes, or to write the letters in your name and superimpose those right on top of each other and then color in that design. So just a couple of ideas if you want to extend this art lesson. And I hope you guys had fun and I hope you're doing great and we miss you guys so, so much. And I'll talk to you later, bye-bye.